Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, not Groot, but still feel free to make that joke in the comments. WWE usually save their future endeavors announcements for Fridays. It's an old PR trick. Release bad news just before the weekend, so people have two days to quell their initial anger. But on Sunday, more out of nowhere than a Randy Orton social media post, WWE announced they had released Raw wrestlers Emma, Darren Young, and Summer Rae. Emma was the first to be let go with WWE. WWE announcing on Twitter, breaking news, WWE has come to terms on the release of WWE superstar Emma, which was updated just over half an hour later to include both Darren and Summer. This was followed up by a statement on WWE.com, wishing all three the best in their future endeavors. Summer might have been aware of her release several days before, posting on the eve of WWE's announcement, never tripping off the past, I would rather never mind them, cause only fools trip over something that be behind them. Summer has been out with injury since last August. Her last TV match being a victory over Alicia F on the 18th of July episode of Superstars. She was reportedly medically cleared for an in-ring return back in May though. Young's release is more surprising, with him appearing for WWE at a LA Clippers NBA game with Becky Lynch, The Miz and Enzo Amore just the previous night. Awesome time at the LA Clippers game helping promote the December 4th WWE Raw. Young's departure means Heath Slater is the only member of the original Nexus lineup still actively wrestling for WWE. That faction was meant to create the next class of WWE main eventers. But Wade Barrett, Young, Ryback, Michael Tarver, and Justin Gabriel were released. Daniel Bryan had to retire, and David Atunga has transitioned to a commentary role. Emma is the only one of the three so far to have issued a statement about their release. And because it's 2017, that statement came in the form of an emoji, simply posting a broken heart on on Twitter. Despite being one of the originators of WWE's women's revolution, evolution, whatever they're branding it today, Emma's main roster run was plagued with bad booking and injury. The most infamous being a 17 week tease for her new character Emmalina, for that to be ditched on its debut. Pro Wrestling Sheets reported this was because WWE officials thought Emma couldn't pull off the overly sexualized character. Her last WWE program before her release was as Asuka's debut opponent, which recent NXT site Lyo Rush decided to joke about in a since deleted tweet. I guess these are the things that truly happen when you're not truly ready for Asuka. A gag that didn't go down too well with the WWE roster, with Peyton Royce tweeting, Wow kid, didn't you just get here? Professionalism goes a long way. Dash Wilder commenting, So busy trying to be a comedian, you forget you're a dumbass. And Bray Wyatt's rather threatening, You ain't gonna make it here with the wolves, kid. Somehow the WWE releases didn't include Neville, who reportedly requested to leave the company several weeks ago, meaning Emma, Young and Ray might not be WWE's only future endeavored names. It's Halloween season, so let's count down five spooky characters that failed in WWE. And what were the original plans for Undertaker at WrestleMania 21? Click the videos to the left to find out more, press subscribe and support Wrestle Talk. Order issue one of the Wrestle Talk magazine now. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was wrestling.